Hello, this is Cron playing NBA Live 18 with hopefully the first of a series of franchise episodes. This is my first time playing uh, the franchise mode of NBA Live 18. I've gone through like the, um, just looked at the teams already. I think I'm going to go with the Brooklyn Nets because uh, I like starting, well, I like to try to start low and sort of work my, you know, improve the team's rating. Not really reflective of the team in real life, but according to this, um, the Brooklyn Nets, I think they like their players had some of the lower ratings. So regular season, um, superstar, I'm going to do 29 games, five, ser five uh, game playoff series, leave the other stuff, I can play two minute quarters. We'll lower this jet generated in these games. I'm gonna lower this to two minutes because um, before in the career mode, in like the one when I would play, I think I have night nice stats, but then everybody else would have uh, more time to get stats. So I, I sort of wanted to try and like fill the, like just play the full game, but that would take way too long to play through the story. But I guess if I did that, uh, limited the simulation quarter, like maybe it'd affect the other people. And this one, this one is interesting. It says you can spend upgrade points. So I guess like the one you can upgrade your players. That's pretty cool. Yep, all those should be 50. Oh, man. Why is it a frequency? Shouldn't it be based off skill and like your like your ratings? Not like some other uh, stuff. Suspicious. Okay. I said I like to start with uh, lower rated teams, but oh, yeah, I think it's just there. But I'm, I'm too far. Did I miss it? Yep, okay, here we go. Okay, there, there we go. Like, yeah, I try to do that in FIFA, take like a um, lower rating team, and then I uh, attempt to build them up by actually just using Youth Academy players. Because I didn't want to just uh, keep playing and like having the same process of signing the same young players like uh, over and over again, so sort of having duplicate over and over again. But I guess it's sort of the same thing with the Youth Academy. But I never got far with it. If I played the games, it got annoyed, you know, I uh, felt it was a bit unfair. And then, yeah, maybe I uh, play one trying to simulate more often, but as simulating might be more real, I guess, because you're letting the players do their thing, but it's less less involvement in a way. Uh, yeah, but maybe playing it is like you're actually coaching them and listening what to do. But then the a really good player could probably win with a lower rated team, which might not be the case in real life. But maybe that just means they're a really great coach. I don't know. You know, there's uh, limits to these things. Okay. Around 6 million in cap room. There are top three players. I think the top three are Jeremy Lin, 81 rated, 29 years old. D'Angelo Russell, 81 rated, 21 years old. And Jaleel Okafor, 79 rated and 21 years old. Okay, Brooklyn Nets. I hope to play maybe one game an episode. First in the East, that's cool. And you have uh, recap. Recap. This is your to do list where you can view your most important tasks. Once all your games have been played, press the button to advance the week. This is the current state of your team. Use your cap room to sign better players and improve your cheat. Improve your team's chance of winning. These are starting five players. You can quickly upgrade these players by selecting them from this view. Check out your team roster to visit um, and upgrade any of the players on your team. Use the player rotation screen to edit the number of minutes each player will play each game. Use the injury report to stay up to date on injuries to your players and players around the league. Visit the award screen to visit the award winners each season. View the league transaction screen to keep track of all player movement around the league. Okay, let's go try. Oh, we have to release a player? What? We got a draft recap. Okay, yeah, I think it's just real life. Highest rated was actually Lonzo Ball. Wow. And Donovan Mitchell's tied, though he was picked 13th. That's interesting. Oh, he's older too, so. Youngest player was actually Lonzo Ball. I don't know if they're counting months and years. Maybe it's like if they're tied, just go by rating. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Wouldn't be cooler if they had the actual, like, date. Tallest was An Zez Passage Nix. Sorry, I'm not sure how to say. His names, I haven't heard it before, like, 
I didn't see him get drafted. That was me like guessing how to say his name. What is the highest three point rating? Jason Tatum's interesting. And Luke Kennard. And Laurie McKinnon, who's in the skills game, I think. OG and uh, and an OB. Okay. Enough with that. Uh let's each team can only have fifteen players on it. They want me to release a player. Why? Do I have more than fifteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, who's the oldest player? Demari Carroll. Okay. Who's the Who's the lowest reading? Hmm. I mean, I might, oh, I want to see if I have other people in the position of power forward. Because I think, according to the ra oh, I only have one. That's not good. And the readings aren't even that far apart. Uh, how many centers do I have? No, not that. Okay, maybe I can move, you know, play two of these at a time. Interior defense. Julie Local for maybe at the center. Oh, nice strength there. Oh, there. The three points lacking. But there is it's nice. Hmm. Maybe Damari Carroll as a power forward. Uh, Jeremy Lin, point guard, maybe shooting guard. Uh, depends who has better playmaking. Driving left. What is that, Jeremy Lin? He had. Nice little insanity moves. Did I draw a foul? Draw a shooting foul, Jeremy Lin should have very low rating. But I guess that's the ref's fault. Passing? Oh, okay, Jeremy Lin's actually better. Um, well, who's, let's go back to this shooting. Uh, D'Angelo Russell. Okay, mid-range. Uh, I'll just put Jeremy Lin as the... Um, oh, wait, height. Okay. So yeah, Jeremy Lin, point guard, D'Angelo Russell, um, shooting guard, maybe Spencer Dinwiddie as a power forward, or no, I mean uh, Spencer Dinwiddie as a small forward, Demari Carroll as a power forward, we're playing small there, and then uh, rotation of these guys, potentially, potentially. Okay, but they wanted me to get rid of someone. Um, I guess for that system we don't need Quincy AC, so I'm sorry I'm gonna have to release him. Uh, I don't know how to release him. Oh, okay, I have to cut him. Yes. Okay. You better not still tell me to do that. And cut a player. Okay, good. Um, okay, yeah. You're, you're, you know, for this one I wanted Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, that's uh, upgrade points. Are right, very large quantity. Unlike in the the one where it's like mm, where you have to actually like individual upgrade points. Okay. I wonder if their rating is affected. I do not want to select them on to move around. Back. I'm just need to. Oh, okay, square swap order. That's what I need to do. 77. Yeah, the ratings get affected. I wonder if the ratings act like their stats go down, or just like uh, shooting guards' ratings are calculated different. Upgrade skills. I don't know. Hopefully not, but hopefully I don't. They're not negatively affected. Okay. Hmm. You know, let them do what they want. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to mess with that too much. Okay. I'm going to try to play one game in. Play the moment. What? I'm just gonna do a play full game. Maybe I should have read the news, but I don't know. Okay. Against the Washington Wizards. We're at the Washington Wizards, I think. Okay, let's go with the icon. 
uh, before NBA Live 18 had a lot of like um, areas like no recording gameplay recording zones I thought they did that because of the beta maybe things weren't finalized they didn't want um, people to like see them before like they finished polishing polishing it up and then randomly this time I, I tried record I was thinking about recording this last time though I couldn't even record the beginning part of like um, selecting a team and like all the rules but this time I could record even before that so I don't know if they updated it that's nice okay As this game gets underway, Jeff, is there anybody that stands out in your mind that they need to focus on against nice the Wizards that. tonight? When you're playing against this team and John Wall, you got to realize I don't know if I'm used to. Uh, He's still breaking through the wall of being young and inexperienced. So give him some time I'm used to playing as a team because in the one I play as a stretch team. big. Um, power forward. I just use lots of. I use a lot of pick and pops to get my points. That's the main trade. thing. He's got to play fast. He's got to oh. play quick, and he's got to play without overwhelming pressure on your sh his shoulders. Lighten up, John Wall. Just play your game. Do you? Nice. Oh, he tried to put it in off the glass. No paint game. No winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Shot clock says 12. Lynn's working hard, backing down his opponent. To the rim, off the dribble. Nice. Plays it up and gets the roll. Good point. Yeah, these are the uh, low scoring Great finish in the, the pass picked off. quarters. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. And the defense switches. I was supposed to get Jimmy Lynn a shot. Not a lot. The Nets with the offensive rebound for a second oh, chance yeah, opportunity. Uh, and they turn pass. over. Changes his mind and gives up the ball. Goes to the goal. What? Flips it home okay. on a okay. beautiful pass from John Wood. Oh, that's not good. You need five guys. Ooh, and, and there the goes our lead. One second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Over four. Oh, that was bad. That was a lot slower than I expected. Come on. Dang it. Oh, snap. Let's get Russell. No. That's not a good first half. We're down. A first quarter. First quarter. Second quarter set to begin. No one comes out strong here to begin the first. What do you expect now, Jeff? Well, both teams have to look for some sort of consistency. Really? No consistency really? I thought I was late. Okay, shooting foul, but not the end one, which is good. Red blows his whistle. Foul. Called against the Nets. That's their first team foul. Makes the first. Connects on the first free throw. Goes okay, makes the second. Now they're up by four. So, two possession game. Stay big. Oh my bad. Oh, okay. bad um, maybe I should have played it low. Beat it into the post. What? I was contested from behind. I'm a disappointed to be losing. No, what? Told me to pass it. Maybe I was a bit late, but come on. It's annoying. Why what? What kind of a matchup is this? Oh nice. Gets it up for two. What how are they gonna foul him? He wasn't even close to contest it. Then yeah, somehow he gets close enough to block it. Or not to uh, to foul him. Come on, now I don't even know if I can, if I have good players, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win these games, man. It's very, it's very disappointing. Get out of here. I like the in-between plays. No, bad stuff. Lynn. Screen set nicely. No. Oh, 
for two, lets it go. Ooh, misses the inside shot. That's good team defense right there, forcing that miss. Okafor's looking to post up. In the paint. Oh, Come on. Nice what are they doing? Give me Lynn with the chase down the block. Bring it up. Need to stop the bleeding here. Okafor fires. What? Gortat the rebound. There she is. To wall. Quick catch and shoot. Soft touch gets the wall. This is sad. No, I might, what? I didn't want to do a reach in. Now they have the free throws. Why would I foul him like that? I just tapped it once. I don't. That, that's annoying. Don't get the next one, man. Knocks down the second after he misses the first. Pass to the corner. No, I thought I had more time to get a shot off. I'm disappointed by my performance. The third quarter is about to get started. I'm disappointed that this video took longer than necessary. Why is he fouling him every single time? That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Next one, they're in the penalty. Fields looking for the screen to get himself in and out. Down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Russell shot turn. I wanted to dunk it. I just wanted to lay up. Pass to the corner. Field jumper. That three pointer off the bar. And there's a steal. Beautiful. To be on the wizard. Listen on the ball. He doesn't even put his hands up. From three point territory. The transition three-point jump shot is one of the hardest to defend in the NBA because transition defenses have been taught. Oh, that's so bad. Other times it's slow, now it's all speedy. And he makes it. That's solid basketball right there. Creating an open two point shot and knocking it home. Ooh, the open man. Lynn on the drive. Goes for the three pointer. Knocks down. There we the go. That's a thing of beauty right there. The three point shot, nothing but net. Feeds it right back. With the rim. Almost an end one. Throw attempts after that foul call. Oh, we don't, but foul called against field. That's smart, sound, solid basketball. Putting a bad free throw shooter to the free throw line Ooh. instead of allowing him an easy attempt. Um, what? Good bounce back. I don't it get it, man. Why, why is the speed changing two. up? Why isn't it consistent? Three second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Here's the screen. Tobio shoots for three. Lazy pass. At the buzzer. Three quarters complete. Brooklyn's okay. down. Down my 12. Three quarters complete. Still some work to be done, Jeff, but so far you've got to love the way they're playing. I do, but they can't waste any possessions early in this quarter that would allow their opponent to even think they can get back in the Oh, game. man. Gortat the rebound. Can I pick who's screening? Loses control. Ooh. Reaches in. Taken away by Okafor. Backing his man down. Oh, I thought I had more time with that pass. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. 
Not sure how I did that. That's good. A two pointer. He's shooting 66% from the field. To walk. Oh, quick adjustment. Now he gives it up. Pass to the corner. To wall. Dumps it off beautifully. Here we go. Throws it down. Oh, he flushed that one right on top of his head. Ooh. Where can I get? Setting it up. Russell was trying to get free off the pick. Bad. No. I just want pick and pop. Pick and pop. Come on, don't tell me you're just wasting time. What? This is harder than I thought. That's sad. What? The rest of the game is a waste of my time. Wow, this is very infuriating. Looking to dominate down low. Puts it up. And Marquis Morris and of course, a nice play. Come on. Lynn against Wall. He shoots. Jeremy Lynn with a nice dish. He's got four assists in the game. Very late. And Otto Porter will be the man for the inbound. Oh my goodness, lays out the defender with that screen. Field jumper. Puts in the of course. Goes for the long pass. Did that count? Nope. And time I thought it counted. The whip. It was cold. Who was cold? Everyone on the team. Every player that makes it to the NBA on behalf of ESPN on EA Sports. I'm Dana Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you. What am I doing, NBA man? Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, we can turn things around in the next episode as I get more used to controlling the team and the NBA Live again. I uh, played it in a bit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, which you can do by pressing the button in the middle. If you want to see my newest video, press the button on the right. And if you want to see my last video, press the button on the left. Thanks.